I am inviting you to watch this video more careful, then I'll see you after then for more commentary. But there's a, a part that I, I would like to appeal to my colleagues, and I want South Africans to keep this in mind, and it's very serious. Julius Malima can go to the union buildings next year, after the elections. This is a big blind spot that most analysts don't see. Let me tell you how he can. And by the way, they are working on it. They are targeting Sir Ramaphosa. They are not targeting the entire ANC. They want Sir Ramaphosa out. There's a personal thing between Julius and Ramaphosa. They have a good relationship with Paul Mashatil and the leadership of the ANC in Gauteng. If you watch the move they are making, they have a deal with the leadership of Gauteng. They are busy bringing back the ANC into the metros. That deal, let me tell you, involves that if the ANC gets less than 50% next year and the EFF gets 10%, the two of them, Paul Mashatil as president and Julius Malima as deputy president, will co-govern South Africa. You think that I am talking nonsense at your own peril. Julius Malima is going to be your deputy president if Paul Mashatile becomes president of South Africa. Next year, I'm not talking in 2029. Keep that in mind. Look at what the EFF is doing, how they... Now that you have watched the video, let us have a talk. Before we get to talk, I want to correct something because there is what to pick from his analysis and what to reject. And one thing I have to agree with him is when he at least he acknowledged that there is possibility maybe that uh, next year the president of EFF, Julius Malema, might be going to the union building. But in which casket? Because according to him, he believed that the EFF will go to the union building and with the EFF leader, Julius Malema, as a deputy president to Paul Mashatile as the president of a republic. Hmm. Well, I guess it's, that is his point of view uh, as he was trying to give his analysis. But what I want to correct him on this is that I think he did not get it right because first of all, he should try to understand the goals of each and all political party. What are their goals? And we all know that each and every political party, their goals is to conquer power, to be in charge of the country, to be in charge of the state and everything. And there is not any political party out there which can claim to be an opposition political party yet they have to go and do other political party or ruling party a favor by accompanying them to work with them together mm -mm. so that one i think is something that he had forgotten perhaps but when you get to see someone like julius malema he have the ambitions of becoming the president of uh, not only the president of eff but the president of the republic of south africa that is his ambitions from day one the moment when they create eff if you get to listen to their message they always try to criticize the anc and listening to him saying that no the eff they, they sound to be like they're having a personal problem with the president of republic uh, president ramaphosa i doubt it because they get when they get to talk about the anc and what i'm trying to say is that when the eff try to tackle president ramaphosa they are actually attacking the ANC, they have done so with the President Jacob Zuma. Are you going to say again that it is a personal problem that they are having between them, uh, between two of them? I don't think so. Because if you get to see today, the same EFF who used to fought President, uh, uh, former President Jacob Zuma in the parliament, today they have become very good friends. They get to talk good about each other. You guys recently, you saw in the video that I play for you, Julius Malema get to ask uh, people who are trying to criticize Jacob Zuma saying that it's part of what uh, this country has become, he says that they should leave Jacob Zuma. So you get to see that it, it's not about a personal problem. And in one of his videos, uh, Julius Malema, I mean to say, he also says that if he get to meet President Ramaphosa somewhere outside of politics caskets, they get to speak uh, about serious uh, things they can hug each other they can eat and drink together because it is not about something that the eff have uh, with uh, president ramaphosa like it, 
like the way uh, this man is trying to make it look like they are having something more personal so guys now what should we understand from all this first of all i'll try to remind you when they always say that there is no smoke without fire the moment you see smoke coming out from something which means there is fire somewhere there and it's been for some times now that when looking at around uh, through different analysis when it is in the world of politics or when it is among the population everyone the truth is that the ANC in upcoming elections, they are not going to have the same percentage or the same votes that they usually have time to time. And we have seen that they have demonstrated that in the previous, in the previous uh, um, elections, when you get to see the percentage that the former president Jacob Zuma came out with to the one of uh, um, the current president uh, President Ramaphosa came up with, you get to see that the ANC, instead of them increasing their votes, instead they keep on uh, decreasing it. So with all the crises that is happening in the country right now, with all the things that has been going on in the country right now, one thing for sure we all can agree is that the ANC, even if they have to win the election, but they're not going to have the same vote as they used to have it before you must be blind to not understand it or see it but if you are having a normal conscience you can even tell for yourself that things are not the same as they used to be with the same ANC we know in 1994 now with that being said on other side we are having the EFF which came recently in 2013 if I'm not mistaken in a very small number while other people thought that this uh, political party is not going to survive they are not going to go anyway they are not going to do anything in less than 10 years the EFF they have grown in their numbers and as we are talking at the moment they are having more than 1 million members who have signed to be part of the EFF campaign and that is not a joke that's not something that each and every political party should neglect because this can end up to becoming your nightmare. Why am I saying this? Let us try to make a simple calculation that will help you to understand. When the president of EFF called for um, the campaign of one million members, it was in a very simple way. These one million members are the voters, the, the pure and guaranteed voters that will have to vote for the EFF. Whether you like it or not, for the fact that they are having the card of EFF, which means whenever EFF goes to the uh, elections, they will have to go and vote for the EFF. Now, through this one million campaign, it was just a strategy which they wanted to have these members to be part of them. Because this year, you already see the president of EFF and with EFF members, they had already... Uh, try to find a way of, on how to multiply these 1 million members into something like 10 million members. And you ask for yourself a question to know how. It, in a very simple question, I mean, a very simple strategy that I'm trying to calculate this with you. One member of EFF, let's say, for an example, is a householder. The day of vote, he tells his wife, he tells his children that you go and vote for the EFF. He goes on, he tell his neighbors, he tell his uh, friends, he tell his colleagues at work, perhaps his church members. This one member of the EFF, out of all these categories of people that I mentioned, there's a possibility that each and every member of the EFF, they are not going to miss to have at least 10 voters. Now you get to understand on how EFF will be able to even get more than 10,000 of votes. And we all know with 10,000 of votes in this country, oh, I mean, you must be already a president because when you get to see the result, even with the ANC, they always get stuck somewhere there around uh, 6, 7 millions of voters. So if you are having 10,000 vote of voters, that already is a very big part. Now, with all this being said, you get to understand that there is possibility the EFF, they might find themselves 
inside the union building but unfortunately not them finding them in uh, themselves inside the uh, union building for them to go and be the deputy president as this man is trying to explain in this in his analysis no that one i think it is something that should have count out because there is no any political part that would allow themselves to fight in order for them to to go and accompany other person when they have that strength forget about what is trying to say that see what is happening in the metro in johannesburg and wallow no 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 it is normal for the eff to work with the uh, uh, anc at the moment do you know why because as i told you in one of our previous video that the eff have become like that beautiful young lady who knows that i'm beautiful after all you know and she knows very well that all men they want me and that is how the eff they are considering themselves at the moment because being in the coalition the eff no one have the majority of okay no let's just put it in that way no one have the majority where it is the anc where is the da and in order for you to have the majority you need to have a third part now it is either the anc work with da or work with the uh, eff same also goes for the da so in one of or another way the eff will have to find a client because they are fighting it is between anc and da fighting to have the uh, the eff and the moment they have the eff so it is normal for them to work in that way now when you get to listen to this man in his analysis he's trying to try to explain like um if it happened that next year uh, the eff came out with a 10 percent and the anc they have below 50 percent and then they work together and blah 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 well that is something we should wait and see but if it is up to me i don't see the eff even coming with uh, 10 percent yeah i don't see them coming with that i see them coming around 30 33 35 37 actually that's how i get to see it so and from that position or with that kind of vote i think it will need a lot of uh, uh negotiation in order for them to be able to work together but i don't see eff leader julius malema working aside paul machatile's deputy president i don't see that happening thank you so much for watching this video i think it was very important to get to discuss about this because when i came across uh uh, this video then i'm like no there's something that is missing up here then we need to add as well our point of view i'll see you again in our next video for now continue to be yourself be good be kind may god bless you all ciao ciao